Okay, so this is probably going to be one of the weirdest plays of creep maps we have access to. So, I can put down creep. How do I do it? Oh, I'm paused. Okay, I'm beaming down. I'm not really beaming up, am I? I'm beaming up some of it. Okay, so the, it looks like the more I put down... The more I can, like, kind of store. Okay, so we want to beam this up. This is strange. So I can pick up the creeper by doing this, kind of. Oh, wait, no, we hit, we hit our limit. Then it won't let me do any more. Okay. So, to some degree... What I want to do is pick up all the stuff where it doesn't belong. And dump it to wipe these. I also do generate some creep really slowly on my own, which isn't the best. But it's, it's there, it's a thing I can do. Let's see. Here, let's, uh, let's refill for a bit. Okay, this is really weird. But yeah, I just kind of want to go back and forth for a bit. Because every time I put this down, I get 14% more creeper. This is kind of like a... Oh, that didn't work. I get 14% more as kind of like a bonus. So, to some degree, what I want to do is not lose as much as possible while obviously just killing these towers. Oh, boy. It's... Yeah, it's an odd... Odd incremental. Okay, I guess we've just got to wait for a bit. This is awkward. I can see how and why. And I can't wait until I don't have these cannons here to shoot at me. Because this will get a lot easier. And yes, there is a small amount of breeder. The problem is the cannons can shoot at it. And so, well, I can kind of do this. And we just end up taking a number of hits. It's not the hottest. Because, yeah, we lost it all. Pick it back up again. I mean, I guess to some degree what I should do is actually focus on killing just the handful of towers that I can. Oh, boy. Before those just wreck me. This is, uh, this is weird. The amount of interesting custom maps, though, it, like, it really does remind me of StarCraft Arcade, Warcraft custom maps, you know, all, th all those goodies. Okay. Got it. 
Just barely, but I got it. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to actually get at those, uh... Get at those cannons. Okay. It's almost better to just kind of deal with it out here because we still get the multiplier. We don't have the, uh... Creep bits. And the other option I could do is actually just hang out here. And just multiply a bunch. Okay, pick up what I can. It does seem like really filling this this side is the way to go. Just kind of use this area as a stock. I'll just try and blow up what I can before they delete all of it. Okay. And yeah, it looks like everything I everything I delete uh gets me an extra 5 storage and 0.1 multiplier. And then I think the percentage might be like map coverage or something to that extent. Okay. Go with this. There's two more. Yep. So, pretty much everything I would have expected out of this. Okay, let's just up as much as we can. That was a weird noise, but you know what? I'm just going to own it. I'm going to own it and you guys get to be uh, kind of weirded out by it. Sound good? Sound good. Okay. Put this down here. Beam this up. Grab as much as we can. Okay, we grabbed a little bit more. I go up to 115 now, which is rad. Okay, so, don't get it. Is this a tower defense game against purple fog instead of creeps and lanes? Yes, it is. However, not this one. <laughs> this is completely different. Ah. Uh, this this is a custom map that adds a whole mode where I'm... I'm it's It's an incremental game within a tower defense game. It's very strange. Okay. It's 130. It's a good feeling. And yeah, this is a lot faster now. Do like one more cycle. It seems like it can't hit the edge of the pool. Yeah. Huh. 
That's an interesting... That's an interesting thing. Okay, let's... Let's continue to reload this area. Not spill too much of it out of bounds. Okay. I almost wonder if it's better to do really selective minor strikes for like a smidge of damage. I guess part of it is I don't, eh, no, it probably does just contact damage. So it's probably not worth it. I was just thinking click, 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 just to do a little bit of damage constantly. Got it. Got one of them at least. Okay. It doesn't look like it was really worth it too much as far as damage goes, but still. Or not damage, as far as progression goes. However, the less of these things we have shooting at us, the, the better. Okay, let's grab as much as we can. Okay, grab it all. Did we take anything out? I don't think we did. That could have gotten better. Alas. Well, before it heals, maybe I can take out the tower at the very least. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Let's see if I can pick up what I can pick up. Yeah, it's just as soon as we don't have those mortars pointed at this pool, then we have an infinitely growing source of uh, creep that I can pull from. Okay. I think I got the turret. Right, and these won't repair. So there's not really a whole lot of reason why I need to be going out of my way for that. Hoping it leaks into the pool so it multiplies. Well, it only multiplies a little bit. The problem is then the um, then the cannons start shooting it, which is a little bit of an issue. Also, thank you, Dominate them for the two month resub. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, here's the issue. Need to do enough damage to kill these guys before they get properly repaired. Shoot. Uh, 
Okay. They don't heal that quickly, though. Which is kind of good. Come on. Take him out. No. I mean, we took out one of the two. That's really all I need. Also, thank you, Hunter Dragnell, for the Prime sub as well. Thanks so much. Taking out the towers? Uh, you mean the power towers? I could. The problem is there's a bunch of guns on the other side. It makes it not the most viable. Got it. Okay. Now there are two that remain. Oh. Well, it looks like there's supposed to be a tower there, but I guess not. But yeah, if I can get those remaining two, we pretty much have this entire valley to ourselves. And once we get that, we can start working on all of the other places. Because I'll have an infinite ammo pool that I can just continuously pull from. And multiply out of. And yeah, I, I know, I know mortars always go for the deepest part. There's just only so much I can do about that uh, with the limited resources that I have available. Okay. Yeah, I, I have played a lot of Creeper World. I get the basics. It's just a matter of actually implementing them when you're controlling the creep. Uh, that gets a little weird. I would play this incremental game. Okay, did we get one of the two? We did. Now time to get the other one. All right. So there's still a couple more mortars that we have to worry about. But they can't harm the pool. Or they can. There's something shooting at it. Oh, yep. They're still shooting into my pool. Rude. That's going to be hard to do anything with. Tragically. But that's okay. Boop it. Yeah, because if I can just keep kind of booping these and beaming up, and then booping again, and beaming some more. So all I have to do is just enough damage that I can take out just some basic towers. Yeah. Once I'm up to about 300, I should be able to take out a mortar fairly swiftly. The problem is they will not let me build ammo on my own here. Which is a little rude. Oh. I 
That's an interesting thing. I have an emitter now. I mean, that changes some things. That's a really good emitter too. That is that is twenty percent of uh, Goo Mountain. Damn. I didn't even have to try to get this. It was just... Just be rude to one singular nullifier and then everything else just folds... ...cheaply. I I honestly thought I'd have to do this whole map without a uh, single nullifier. Or not single nullifier, uh, like single structure to help me. I was wrong. Okay, what else do we have? Well, we got the blob nest. Yeah, I'm just I'm just here to cause generalized havoc. it doesn't really matter if I'm not getting the blob nest immediately. Though I think the blob nest is now loose. I'm just trying to hurt as many of these as generally as possible while spreading my shots out so the mortars can't do anything to me. This also drastically increases my... Uh, drastically increases my, my coverage. We're at what? 200 like just a couple minutes ago and now we're up to way higher. I know Blob Nest hasn't earned mortar. You think that's stopping me? Now, ooh. They don't rebuild, do they? You know what it's time for? Surgical tower removal. I'm out, but that's fine. I just need enough juice that I can kill one of these towers. Perfect. Cuz it doesn't it doesn't matter There we go. It doesn't matter how many guns they have over here. If they can't if they can't keep it powered, I win. But do they have any MRIFs? I don't think so. There it goes. Yeah, you can see you can just see the damage flowing. Because they're not repairing that fast. Here's the pylon. Oh, looks like there might have been another tower in there. Really? Oh, you know what? It would make this so much easier. I normally don't bother with top-down mode, but top-down mode makes surgical strikes really easy. 
If only there was friendly fire. Can I take a few of the towers out around the base? I could! But that does not help me nearly as much as this. Do I have enough creep that I can instagib a tower now? No. Looks like it still takes two rounds. Okay, this one might be a little tougher. Alright. Is that... No, there's one more. Alright, here we go. One more. And this one doesn't have any defenses near it, so I might be able to just give it? There it goes. Alright. Guess who doesn't have any power anymore? The pool is actually just self-powering. Rad. And there it goes. The anti-creep is still a problem, but nothing is shooting at my emitter anymore. <sighs> now, here's here's the question. Oh, they do actually have they have planes. Hell is the base. Uh no. Do I want to just kind of insta win, win like a jerk? Oh, won't it won't let me? Oh, too close to rifflat. I see. It looks like the spore launcher is is loose. Okay. So this might not be most aesthetic viewpoint here. But I just took out one of their pylons. Is that enough to take out the tower? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, you're right. It does cost me more the closer I am to the rift to put stuff down. That is good to know. This feels really cheatsy in a bad way, but at the same time, I mean, literally nothing can stop me. Did I get it? No, I don't think I've gotten it yet. Okay. That's a really durable tower. There we go. Can I zoom? Oh, cool. I can just zoom out more. Like a bad clicker game. However, it is working. Okay, that one's done. I might not be able to cut this one off. 
No, I probably can. I have to make sure I'm neatly accurate, though. There it goes. What do we think? Hit this one right in the middle of it. Might as well. It takes longer. That's guaranteed. However, this is a little bit more of a critical spot. There it goes. Okay. Grab the next. Oh, that was much faster. Okay, let's uh let's go a little further out, maybe. I wanna hit things that I know I can safely delete. Or at least comfortably delete? I don't know. I think the impact craters and the anti creep is really something. You mean like where I'm putting uh where I'm putting these down? Or I don't know. Oh, you're right. There is an M rift there. I'll have to start killing that. I guess we should go get that next. Maybe. We'll we'll cut them off. Give them kind of that false sense of hope. So what is an M rift? It's a it lets you teleport resources across the map. Which is kind of inconvenient if I'm trying to surgically remove their ability to fight back. It's super handy when you're playing solo uh, and, you know, regular. Not the handiest here. It's kind of a neat view. I don't think I could ever successfully play a map like this. But I like the view all the same. I'm still doing a decent chunk of damage up there. We're up to times three. Oh. That down an additional replication pattern can sneak in skimmer a skimmer during beam down. Huh. Okay. Now when you beam down Creeper 85% away from the Rift Lab, you'll only beam down that. But there's also an 85% chance of beaming in a Skimmer. Huh. Wait, so I can potentially drop a Skimmer? On my target? I think so. This is essentially the, the classic view from games past, you're right. It doesn't matter because you're too close to the base. Yeah, so the skimmer doesn't actually go. That's a shame. But it also doesn't matter. It, it'll be useful momentarily. All right, there we go. So I heard a little duck say that you are an M Rift. Well, that should solve all problems at this point. Watch as they now proceed to run out of ammunition and power.
Yeah, these are out of juice. Nullifier is nicely dead. Okay. Yeah, you can see the damage is already mounting. I'm going to get rid of that sniper. If I can. Well, we've got the next nullifier going. Is there another? Yay! Uh, this area is depowered too, so even this emitter has just started going. It's not hyper powerful, to be honest. But considering they're pretty much out of juice. You know what? Let's get rid of their airplanes. I probably shouldn't suck from here. I really should pull from Mount uh, Mount Creep. Because, yeah, they only have one air yard, yeah? If I just turn off that air yard, that is the only thing they have currently uh, currently powering those planes. Not seeing any of them going in for a landing, which is a little confusing. I guess I could actually attack the air yard, but I, I still think I'm going to... Uh, wow. Is so effective. This would have been just a lot harder. Had I not been extremely tricksy there. Okay. There we go. Uh, you could nuke the entire strip rather than the hangers to the side. Oh, I'm just cutting power. I probably could have actually just attacked this strip here and would be just about as effective. But I'm not entirely sure. It does amuse me to no end that they're just completely ineffective here. Let's see. Oh, wow. That just sticks around because, yeah, they're out of juice. Even this thing. Oh. Okay, so this is the closest I can get. Everything else is... Yeah, shoot. There's no other mines, are there? Alright, I guess next order of business is we actually do just start attacking the, um... We do just start attacking the airplanes directly. Because I wonder if I take out all of the landing pads if they just go away. Wow, that was effective. Oh, there goes the strip. Either that or these planes are infinite and cannot be stopped. I'm not entirely sure. No, it definitely looks like there are less planes. Yeah. Oh, you can even see them blowing up in the middle of the air. Uh, 
Okay. Well. Guess I'm just going to deplete what little a ammunition they have by making sweet patterns in the anti-creep. Unfortunately, I have become too strong. And I can deplete my own base worth of resources pretty quickly. But that's okay. Wow, look at all that carnage. Okay, can I randomly sneak in either a blob or a skimmer? Well, maybe tempting to be aggressive if it's better to be sneaky. What are you what are you talking about? Why sneak for anything? I am absurd. Now my main question is, how the heck am I going to actually beat the Rift Lab? Because it says everything is too close. By the way, this has become stupid. Everything is just getting wrecked. Defenses, what defenses? The fact, wow, okay. Sneak another blob. They haven't detected me yet, so I'll continue as is. Okay, nope, that's... I mean, I guess I could multiply a bunch of my own creep if I really, really wanted to. Well, let's just do that. Yeah, we're still we're still hitting limitations on like being too close. I just want to get rid of this guy. He's too much of a jerk to live. Any of, any of the earned up enemies should probably go next. They're too close to Rift Lab. I mean... Unless I'm just supposed to cause just like hyper waves. And just hope it hits the lab. I guess I could do that. It sort of works. Okay. The problem is the percentage gets kind of rough. Okay. Beam up. Yeah, I don't think it ever lets me get closer. Which is a little unfortunate. Wait. I wonder if I can be back here. And just cause a hyper boost at my the original space where I started maybe 
Either this is, or we'll just actually produce too much. Because, yeah, I could just really push this area. Or just a hella tidal wave. Because that is, that is one easy answer. It's going to take a while. Oh, right. Okay. Maybe... Oh, no. Can I not pan the camera? Oh. I guess I can't. Well, I'm just going to do this for a little while. It goes by nice and quick, especially around here. Interesting, the percentage is actually getting worse. There we go. Okay, we're up to 22, 23... Yeah, I'm just beaming down gobs of this stuff. Yeah, it's actually reducing my generation percentage because I've created too much creep. Oh yeah, you're right. I am making anti-creep now. <laughs> Okay, apparently nuked it too much. I'm only making a little bit of anti-creep. Okay, here's the first couple of waves. Starting to hit. Unfortunately, I made this, which is causing a, uh, a ripple. Well, if you can't reach... If I can't reach my foe... I'm just gonna bury him somehow. I really wish the percentage doesn't... Or wasn't as much of an issue here. Because, yeah, it's, it's just really hard to crack that base over there. Oh, we've broken something. Oh, we're starting to do some damage. I think actually firing it right here works. Because, yeah, if I can hit that mining base that gets rid of all of his energy because I think those are hyper tuned and so if I can take those out He'll lose everything. Okay, we took out another something. Uh, 
Okay, we just want to kind of dump these. Oh, it's it's on now. I was really curious how I was going to get access to this. I was just assuming that the uh, the dude ha handing things to me. Whoops. I was just assuming he would be uh, getting me closer, but it looks like the answer is no. Well, I think at this point we can just stop. Holy shit, I, I made this bad. Oh, the base was right here the entire time. What the hell is this then? Just a random shield generator, I guess. There's now no hope for them. Even it... Even if I'm somehow detected, they can't do anything at this point. Decided to go ahead and launch even without a full storage tank, but I'll be a tad curious to rely on distance from the Rift Lab to protect myself from being detected and eliminated. Now to free to make all the spores, blobs, and uh, blobs and skimmers that you want to make. Right click, button's gonna get a workout. Well. Oh yeah, now everything's 100%. Ah. Uh. Uh, cleanse world. Yes, yeah, so every time I cycle right clicks. What is left? Required cleanse world, but there's nothing remaining. Or, hold up. Oh no, there it is. Cleanse the world and restore it to what it should be. Though my mind, uh, through my mind, gaze upon the beautiful, majestic creeper. Okay. Go there and cleanse. So that was actually, like, way more fun. That was way more fun than I thought it was going to be. Ah, okay. McFloodington. I don't think we got a particularly good score on that, but that was still neat. Okay, so I see a bunch of auto-build FPSs. We have Plays a Creeper again. Smaller, easier, and the earn mechanic has changed a little. Hmm. Do we want to give it a shot? Sure.